What are you doing out here? You were looking for me. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be a part of the celebration? After all, your speech was a success. Thanks to me, of course. I'm sure there's a lot of people dying to talk to you. Really? You have no interest in that. <laughs> That's doubtful. Given your people skills and how well you get along with everyone, I know you would rather be in there with your friends. I assume you came looking for me out of pity. You didn't want me to be all alone out here by myself. I can assure you, though, I prefer it. You came to congratulate me. Oh. Well, you are right. It is my findings that everyone is gushing about, and that has earned us the first place ribbon, so... I guess thank you. Your congratulations is accepted. Why am I out here? I guess... to get away from the crowds. I'm not much of a people person. I can't keep a straight face around dumb questions, and quite frankly, I don't feel like answering them tonight. People only want to talk to you if it benefits them. So when you make a discovery, suddenly everyone has a fake air of appreciation and friendship, when in reality, once the fad fades, so will their company. That's a tiring endeavor, and quite frankly, I'd rather just skip the whole thing. What? Surely you don't think that relationships are built on anything, then... benefits. I mean, take you and me, for example. I wouldn't even be talking to you if I didn't need you for my own personal gain. I needed someone who was able to speak in front of a crowd, and that people liked, and you happened to fit the bill. We most likely would have never even talked if I didn't request you as a partner. Different circles and such. Therefore, speaking to you is only out of necessity. <sighs> well, I guess you are correct. I currently am spilling my guts out, even though your usefulness to me has ended. I guess during our collaboration I may have gotten carried away. I forgot this partnership would be short. I blame your good people skills. So then I ask you, why are you still interested in talking to me? I have no benefit to you, no new discoveries on the horizon. It's not like you can ride my coattail to the top. You talk to me because you want to. I don't understand why. But if that's what you wish, I guess I will not stop you. Though I can't guarantee our conversations will be pleasant. Hmm? I, I guess you're right. Tonight is kind of beautiful if you like that sort of thing. It would look prettier from my window with a good book far away from any pushy crowds or nosy partners. But I guess the view isn't terrible from here. I suppose a congratulation is in order for you as well. You didn't stutter or stumble once during the presentation and you were right on time, so good job. What? Isn't that good enough? I thought I did rather well. But what do you mean you deserve more? <laughs> yes, my presentation was on your shoulders, but surely it wasn't that much of a burden. Uh, is that so? Oh, you are really pushing it. You... <clears throat> Fine. 
Here it goes. I never, ever thought for one second that we would get along. I thought you were arrogant, annoying, and honestly, troublesome to talk to. With your pushy opinions and your snarky quips. And I still think those things. I'll be at the first part. To my surprise, I don't find your company displeasing. Though I wouldn't jump through hoops to be near you either, mind you. I put a lot of trust in you in presenting these findings together. And I'm grateful to say I'm not disappointed in how well it all played out. So, congratulations to a successful night. And thank you for the help you did provide. Are you satisfied now? I swear you are so hard to please. But you're still not satisfied. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't really sign up to be your entertainment for this evening. Where are we going? Well, hang on a second. But I, I, I don't dance. I swear, if you humiliate me with this... What? Trust you? Really? You pull me onto the dance floor without so much of a warning and you are asking me to trust you? I know people are staring. That's why I'm flustered. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. I... Uh... They're, They're too close. close. Where are they putting their hands? This is too much for me. I feel faint. Faint. We're actually doing okay. They seem to know what they're doing. Their bleeding is not half bad. Oh no, not the dip, not the dip, not the dip! Oh, thank God they didn't drop me. This is going to be a long night.